Big day at Sunday at uh, Sha Tin then with 11 races on the program. Final group one of the season as well. That's the standard charter champions and Chater Cup comes up as race number eight. We've also got the Sha Tin Visors race number four. That's a group three. So plenty to look forward to. I'm Andrew Jern. Please say I'm joined by our former analyst in Paul Alley and race caller Mark McNamara as well. And Mark, the highlights pick themselves. They do indeed. A Group 1 and a Group 3. Andrew on the programme. Exultant looking to win the feature race again. The Champions in Chater Cup and a budding superstar steps out in Group number 3. He's done everything so far in the lower grades but goes to yet another level this week. Yeah, that's uh, race number 4 on the programme. And if that's not enough for you, Paul, we've got quite a nice little jackpot in the Triple Trio. Yeah, biggest one we've had for a while. I think I said that last week and it wasn't one. So it's up to 21 million now, uh, expecting it to 21 and change. So expecting to get up to over 38 million for a winning single $10 unit. So a really good uh, jackpot to get your teeth into. As per normal, it's not easy though. And uh, plenty of um, uh, class five to start with. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the biggest one in about five years heading into the weekend. So we're looking forward to that. We start off though, race uh, number one of the 11 is uh, for the Griffins. And we get up to the 200 metres uh, for the first time as well. This is the Pakistan Star Plate. Uh, Turbo Power heads the list. One on debut over the 1,000. Good second to Cordyceps 6. Last time out. Uh, Great King hangs choice. Also in that Cordyceps 6 uh, race last time out. Uh, Tornado Phantom. He makes his debut. He's the only one of these on debut. Compulsory. He was behind Turbo Power first up over the 1,000. Gets the blinkers and a tongue tie on. And Super Kingdom, also trained by Tony Mellon, also gets the blinkers on for the first time. Karis Teton rides him. Now, as far as the speed map is uh, concerned, uh, Mark, what do we think will happen here? We've got turbo power going forward, Andrew, as they, as you said, go to the 1200, so around a bend for the first time. The previous racing has all been down the straight, but the speed should be good. Super Kingdom outside of him, Smart Idea and Compulsory, the next two. Tornado Phantom, who has had the four trials as three up, with Chu Chow Warrior and Heng's Choice, the last two in this Griffins field. All right, we'll have a look at uh, Tornado Phantom in a moment in some of his uh, homework. We'll start off, though, with the last Griffin race ball, and this was Turbo Power finishing second to Cordyceps 6 at a massive price. Smart idea, Super Kingdom and HK Dragon to keep an eye on. Yeah, so keep an eye on those ones. And Turbo Power, look, he won the start before. He's come out and run second now, so he's going uh, really well at the moment. Smart idea, he's getting there slowly. He'll strip further. He's had a couple of uh, placings here, so they're definitely two you've got to include. you got both of them in, and you just got it uh, checked near the line there, Smart you can see Joe having to ease off heels. Now, we don't know whether he would have beaten Turbo Power home, but it certainly cost him some momentum near the line. Yeah, he's been favourite for both his starts so far. Smart idea, an early favourite at this stage as well. But from a different angle, uh, Mark... Tornado Phantom. He's had uh, four trials. They've all been up at Chung as well for John Size. They have, and uh, he's run a third in his last two, and he's travelled on the fence here, the great. Wasn't extended in the run home. Now, the others are race fit, Paul, and this guy has drawn Barry number eight over the 1200 for his first start. He's trialled up OK, but I just thought with fitness on the side of most of the rest of the field that they might just edge him at this stage. Yeah, I agree as well. He's had the four trials uh, to get him ready, though, and he's 1,098 pounds. So, uh, look, I, I, I'm with you. I'm happy to watch him go around. What about compulsory, Paul? Now, he ran behind Turbo Power first up over the thousand. They put the blinkers and a tongue tie on. He gets barrier four for Anton Hamelin. I really like this horse. I, I think it was a nice troll here with the blinkers on. They've definitely improved him. He only had that 800-metre troll coming into that race as well. He's now had this other troll. He's had plenty of gallops, so I think he's going to strip a lot fitter horse and blinkers on for a second start. Uh, happy to take a chance with him. Hopefully, we'll get a double-figure price. Yeah, got him in uh, for third for sure. Compulsory, like the troll from him, knocked around, and the blinkers will have sharpened him up too. OK, but uh, as far as putting him in an order, Paul, are you brave enough to put him on top? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have put Compulsory on top and hopefully we'll get an each-way uh, price about uh, Compulsory. He's currently at 12 and 2.7, so more than happy if he stays that price. Uh, turbo Power in for second. Uh, Smart Idea has been consistent, so the two favourites, second and third. And Super Kingdom, another one with blinkers on for the first time. Another horse that has had two starts now and he definitely improved from start one to start two. Seven, one, eight and nine. Gone smart idea with the pull in the weights again. A little unlucky not to get closer last. Tom wouldn't beat the winner, but he might have finished a bit closer to turbo power. I thought they would run one and two. Seven compulsory off the back of that trial. And great king and trial up OK before a debut ninth behind turbo power. He actually went out at 4.7, had some blood in the track. Yeah, he's been back to Chung Fa since. Eight, one, seven and three. I've got the same cue as Paul, in actual fact, the 7-1. A lot of time for Turbo Power, but compulsory, being a two-year-old with Turbo Power winning that race, he's getting £12 off him. That might be the difference there in the first 7-1, the cue for me, with the Griffins.